I'm also providing nearly $4 million to support these small businesses that I talked about today that got burned up, burned down. And we're going to be providing over $42 million to support public safety statewide, including direct support for law enforcement and funding for additional prosecutors to punish criminals and resources to provide services to victims of crime. President Trump just a few minutes ago announcing a total of $47 million to help Kenosha and Wisconsin in the wake of the riots there. A lot of businesses were terribly affected uh, by what happened on the streets. A number of them were actually destroyed. Charles Payne from Fox Business joins me now. And, you know, Charles, when you look at $4 million for businesses, it doesn't go that far these days. Presumably some of these businesses also have insurance, but I'm sure that that will be a welcome shot in the arm for them. You know, John, it really will be. Think about this. The Kenosha Chamber of Commerce has about 650 businesses, but 70% of them have 15 or fewer employees. We're talking about very small businesses. When the pandemic was really roaring back in April, they raised $75,000. They were able to help 23 businesses, which is 75,000 gyms, uh, restaurants, clothing stores. So four million it's going to go a lot further than you think and, and then, then mm -hmm. of course that's going to inspire more contributions from larger businesses perhaps in, in milwaukee and larger cities so this is more than just a drop in a bucket i think it's a phenomenal uh, move and i'm really happy for those businesses who are the lifeblood of that small community certainly seemed to be a welcome announcement for them unlike the following announcement from your hometown new york city and mayor bill de blasio <laughs> listen here tax the wealthy at a much higher level. And I just feel like this is a lot of cocktail party comfort going on rather than people honestly dealing with this issue. Help me tax the wealthy. Help me redistribute wealth. He's talking about taxing the wealthy, redistributing the wealth. People are already leaving New York City yeah. in droves. Just ask people who are trying to buy property in places like Florida and Texas. Charles, what's this going to do to New York City? In that interview, he was also, that was about uh, desegregating New York or keeping black residents mm -hmm. there. You know, in 1990, there were 90, 29% of New York City. Now it's down to 24% and dropping even quicker. It's just the wrong uh, prescription uh, for an issue where people just, you know, the idea of, of the Robin Hood thing, I'll take from the poor and I'll give mm -hmm. to the downtrodden, it doesn't play very well. People would prefer if he would remove all the regulations that stop them from improving their lives. You know, I was on earlier today and I talked about a hot dog. To get a hot dog stand in New York, there's a 20-year wait list, unless you want one in Central Park, and then you got to have a million bucks. It's just so awful that you can't improve your life yourself in New York City. And I think if they were able to, between the educational system for the kids and would-be entrepreneurs, they wouldn't have to worry about uh, taking from the rich, who, by the way, can easily move out of New York City. President Trump wants to give people more money in their pockets. He is deferring the payroll tax, uh, which should start very soon. People will get an extra 6.2% uh, uh, take-home uh, pay every week. But what people are not really talking about is the fact that unless the president were to make that deferral permanent, people are going to have to make up for that in the beginning of next year. Right. Right. No, I mean, it's a deferment, uh, and you would have to make up for it. And I think it's unlikely it would become permanent, although maybe the, uh, the employee side it wouldn't, wouldn't be bad, certainly in the business side or the owner business side. But this is a shot in the arm. Unfortunately, it's the sort of a measure that's going to happen uh, until Congress gets their act together. It's hard to believe that Congress went on recess. You know, we've got a remarkable rebound going on in this country, but it only happened uh, mm -hmm. because of the, the momentum we had, the ingenuity and hard work of Americans and the quick action by the federal government and Federal Reserve. Now they're sort of all playing the fiddle and, and, and just playing politics. It is really an, a shame. So President yep. Trump's trying what he can to keep this bridge, mm -hmm. this recovery bridge going, but we need more. All right. Well, certainly you're going to be talking about a lot this and more because tomorrow Charles hosts a virtual town hall with the founder of Barstool Sports, Dave Portney. They'll answer questions about how you can take control of your own wealth and investments. That's at 2 o'clock Eastern on Fox Business.